Okay, good morning, friends. Once again, welcome back to uh, the process of learning the ability of a reading skill. In the previous class, uh, we had discussed about what is reading skill and uh, how important it is to have the basic uh, uh, knowledge about uh, the first uh, criteria of uh, reading style that is uh, silent reading. Now, in today's uh, this session, I am going to discuss about what is loud reading. What do you mean by this type of reading and uh, what are the advantages and uh, what is the procedure of uh, reading aloud or loud reading. So as the name itself indicates, it is a form of reading which is allow every learner or every, every reader to read the content loudly, isn't it? Technically or literally speaking, that is what uh, the sense uh, actually we used to get. In loud reading, the students are the are to read the subject aloud so that their voice is audible. If I, I wish to read something right now, I can read it aloud so that my voice is audible to me. So if I am reading the content loudly, so the opponent person or the one with whom I am uh, wish to with whom I wish to convey or maybe I wish to make the others to listen to. So they will come to know that what actually I am reading. But in silent reading, they may say that they may show the action that they are reading, but you will come, you will not come to know about what actually they are reading. The best thing of loud reading is you will come to know what a person is reading. So in loud reading, the students are supposed to read the content aloud or loudly so that the other person will come to know that what a person is reading. So he should correct the wrong. If suppose there are any mistakes if i did while reading aloud so i will be supervised by some observer or the one who is good enough in the subject so that he or she can correct me so what sort of information that i need to improve what is the right form of reading that word what is the correct pronunciation of the word so those type of immediate corrections should have to be followed in the form of loud reading and it will definitely give a drill of correct pronunciation to the whole class. Say for example, in our primary schools, we were taught how to read a language in the classroom because of loud reading only. Even I don't know how to use a particular word, even I don't know how to read a word. But before my turn comes, the one who is going to read are the one who other already read. If I'm reading of those people, if the same mistake I'm going to do, if that person, the if the, a person A did the same mistake, and if it is corrected by the teacher, even I will come to know that yes, that word which is pronounced like this is wrong, and that word should have to be pronounced like this. So there are better understandings. There are possibilities for drill. There are possibilities for exercises for correcting our pronunciation. And even if somebody, if I am committing some mistake while reading aloud. If I was corrected by the teacher immediately, if there are 50 students, the rest of 49 students will also come to know that if I read the word in that context, it is wrong and the what teacher suggested or what teacher supervised is right so that everybody will understand that that is the right tone which is supposed to be followed by reading that content correctly. So that is the best or that is the beauty of loud reading students. There is a controversy on point whether silent reading should be followed or loud reading should be or vice versa. We don't have the uh, appropriate evidences or uh, uh, we can say the proper type of uh, experimentations too. But both are equally important. Silent reading is also good for enhancement of the information and the knowledge as well as the loud reading is also good for the improvement of pronunciation. Morrison who used to say that in his opinion, loud reading by the students should be followed by silent reading. So both are equally important according to Morrison's views. Loud reading by the students should be followed by silent reading. If uh, I wish to improve the speed of uh, my reading, silent reading is preferable. If I wish to improve my pronunciation style, if I wish to get a right type of confidence here, if I wish to get good confidence as far ability of reading is considered, what I need to do is I should have to go for loud reading. Okay, so loud reading by a student should be followed by silent reading, just the opposite of what is practiced generally in our day to day 
schools are conditioned. What are the advantages of uh, loud reading then? If you talk about some of the advantages, you can see number of uh, married students. The first one is it develops stronger vocabulary because I will come to know how the word is to be pronounced. What is the meaning of the word? Okay. So from that point of view, I can improve, I can enhance the knowledge as per the vocabulary items are considered. If I have strong vocabulary, I can pronounce the word correctly, loudly, and even with uh, a lot of uh, enthusiasm as well as in the interesting part. If not, there may be the vice versa. Okay. Second advantage of this reading ability is it will build connections between what is spoken and what is written. So it will try to enhance, it will try to cope up with what is supposed to be spoken of or what is supposed to be written in the form of road. So we can connect between what is written and what is spoken through the help of reading, loud reading. It definitely provide enjoyment to the learning process, especially for every learner student because we will enjoy a lot. In silent reading, nobody knows what others are doing and even what I am doing, even others don't know. So, but in loud reading, we will come to know how that person is reading, how this person is reading, how those students are learn, uh, reading, how teacher is reading. So, so we can get enjoyment in the process of uh, reading students. Next is, it will create, it will increase the attention span of attention. It will, it will enhance, see, when my turn will come, I will supposed to, I am supposed to read the content correctly. If I wish to read the content correctly, what I need to do is, I should have to read the cont uh, I should have to cut in, uh, I should have to pay attention towards somebody's reading, how he is reading, how the those words are pronounced. If there are any mistakes, again, the teacher is correcting. So let me not repeat the same mistake. So I wanted to become very popular. I my reading should be appreciated by everybody. So from that point of view, I may pay attention towards somebody's re allowed reading to even it will enable the students to speak English correctly. If I wish to speak English in a correct form, in a very proficient form, then what I need to do is, or what I need to uh, follow is loud reading students. So if I wish to become a very good speaker of a language, if I wish to speak correct and right form of, uh, or right usage of the words, I must take the advantage of loud reading. Okay, next is it provides a safe way of exploring strong emotions that we used to have. When I am capable of reading a content thoroughly, that too in a loud form or reading aloud, I will definitely get confidence that how I can speak. So that will motivate me to become a good speaker in the future. So reading aloud will enhance an individual to improve their capacities as well as to improve the strong emotions in their personality. And finally, we can see a bonding between what a learner is learning and what the learner is reading students. So you can see a, a very good bondage in the process of learning. What is the procedure of uh, doing these elements? Okay, so what type of procedure is to be followed? So try to select a text which is very interesting, which may create interest among the learner. Next is when doing a, a, a read aloud and you wish to read aloud, it is best if all students have a copy of the same text so that they can follow along. If you are conducting a reading aloud activity in the classroom, so try to select such a topic which is uh, easily accessible for everybody. Means if everybody have the same text that a person is reading so that they can have a glance. What he is he, what how he how is he re reading? Is it in a correct form or not? Is it in a wrong form? Or if there are any issues that can be discussed. So the same content is that definitely everybody can take active participation. Read alouds can be structured, popcorn style, popcorn style. As soon as one student stops reading, another student can begin. So I think you have seen popcorn uh, uh, preparation. Okay, one by one, they used to go at the top and they used to come to the next level. Like that, there is a procedure of giving equal opportunity for everybody in the process of reading alone. One person stops, again next will continue. First paragraph, person A. Next paragraph, person B. Next paragraph, person C. Like that, the chain continues, okay? So participation will be more, active participation will be there, interest will be created, okay? Everybody will get participation, equal opportunity for everybody, okay? Emotions are uh, not got disturbed, okay? Uh, ch chances for improving the reading ability, like that we have 
not many advantages teachers can assign students a section of the text to read as homework too so even not only in the classroom if time not permits even you can uh, ask the students to do the reading aloud activity in the uh, home as a form of homework okay so even uh, there should be a pause for comments which is supposed to be followed okay uh, so this is what i thought of today students regarding uh, how uh, reading aloud need to be followed and what are the advantages and what is the procedure of it so the next aspect of reading that is what is uh, intensive reading and what is extensive reading and even how do we develop reading abilities what are the ways and approaches that a teacher should follow for the development of uh, reading ability that you can see in the next class okay thank you students